Yo, hard mateys. Welcome to Sea of Thieves. This is Damron. We're playing the new Ashen Winds update in Sea of Thieves. And in this video, we're going to be covering all the commendations. Going to show you the easiest way to get all the commendations done in this update and show you some strategies and things. And we're going to bang all the commendations out. So first, you're going to notice these new kind of red, swirling, almost, vol you know, tornado-like structures. And those are going to signify the new event. It's in rotation with the Skelly Fleet, Skelly Florts and flame heart and there's a ton of new commendations that you can see in the bilge rat section we're going to have to kill 25 ashen lords and turn in those skulls turn in a fully ignited skull you're going to have to kill five of each new boss set a hundred skeletons on fire with the new skull that you get and set 10 skelly boats on fire with the skull as well so let's go ahead and talk about the boss fight a little bit and kind of show you all the different attacks that they do and we're going to go over this just briefly briefly so you're aware of what's going to happen when you head to these events so when you head there you know he's going to be like locked in this little red structure and he's going to burst out and you're going to have three waves of fighting you know one of those four enemies so we have old Horatio here and once you start the fight they're going to do a variety of attacks all four of the different Ashen Lords are going to do the same attacks they don't do different attacks between them so all the stuff I'm showing you all the different guys do okay and one of the things Things that they do is they kind of you can see how it was all dark right there and that's not really a difficult thing he just kind of makes it dark that's actually a good time to uh, just shoot them you saw him jump at me right there when they jump at you that can actually do about 50% damage so you definitely want to get out of the way of that another thing that will do if you're too close kind of right behind them they will just kind of swing their arm back and try to smack you all right and these are all in the first wave and he also saw him kind of get down on his knee and shoot flame out of his mouth okay so that is devastating and you can actually get hurt by the flame even if you're standing behind him but once you kind of do enough damage eventually he's going to kind of kneel down and you're going to be able he's you know he's going to try to say he's recovering and that's the end of the first wave so you're going to damage him a little bit more and once he gets up again you've entered the second wave which is really the same as the first wave other than when he spawns in skeletons he's going to spawn in more of them there's also an a another attack that he can do and he can do that in the first wave as well you see when he slams the ground down just similar to what gray marrow does when he slams his chest to, you know together that's going to blow you back the closer you are to him when he does that is the more damage you're going to take and eventually he'll get down on his knees again and then once you bring him back up he'll be on the third wave and this is where he does this meteor attack where he'll kneel down you don't want to get close to him like i'm here but wanted to show you that he's also blowing that flame from his mouth and he He's kind of dropping all of these meteors from the sky. So ideally, you actually want to find somewhere in the air, you know, in the island that you're on, where you have some cover from above you, and that's really where you know where you want to be. And then also, when he spawns skeletons, and on this wave, he's going to spawn even more than the second wave. And eventually, you're going to do enough damage, and you're going to kill him. I would recommend that when you're doing these events, you go in with at least a brig. The more people, the better, because these guys do have a lot of health. If if you're on an island with other boats that are acting friendly, the first thing you want to do as soon as he dies is grab the skull and get back to your boat, okay? Because they're going to spawn a lot of different loot, but screw the other loot. It's not going to help us get these commendations done. We're going to grab that skull and we're going to get out of there. I recommend going ahead and selling the very first skull you get without using it. Um, so you can go ahead and get the commendation for selling a fully ignited skull. The other Ashen Lords that you're going to to fight um, again are Captain Grimm, you've got Red Ruth, and you also have Warden Chi. Now all all four of them do the same attacks, so the fight is going to be really identical other than the cosmetic look of the boss you're fighting, which is kind of unfortunate, and I thought they were going to have different attacks. So moving on to the skeletons, you can really just, just click shooting the flame out of the Ashen Wind Skull, and it's going to do enough damage to kill the skeletons. You do not have to hold it that long. Um, so just keep that in mind. You also do not need to be holding the skull. If one of your teammates burns a skeleton, you're going to get credit for that as well. By far, the easiest and the fastest way to get the 100 skeletons is at a skeleton fort. If you go here and you're conservative with the skull, you could actually burn 100 skeletons pretty easily with one skull and, and you know, just knock it out. So ideally, if you, you know, finish the Ashen Winge and a fort pops up, just go bang that out. Now, 
for the ships, you know, you could go to a skelly fleet that I showed you up there. So if you see the ship in the sky, you can go to a skelly fleet. But really, ideally, you want to just find random sloops on the map because you can just board them really quickly and you can set fire to them very easily. If you do the skelly event, you're going to be fighting some galleons and the galleons take a little bit more of the juice of the skull to set on fire. But you can board a sloop and just boom, set it aflame pretty quickly. And if you do it that way you can get about five to six ships on fire with one use of the skull so it's only going to take you two skulls to get that commendation done so you can see um, this sloop is set ablaze and also just like the skeleton you know the just the normal skeleton enemies if your buddy sets it on fire you're going to get credit for that so you do not actually have to be the one that shoots the flame so as long as you do all that and we do 25 of them we turn in 25 skulls you're going to get all the commendations and the ashen winds set and you can find these in the build rat section and so i hope you guys find this helpful i hope you enjoyed the video as always if you like my stuff feel free to like and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you on the seas